The trouble with a government that is focused on covering up its mistakes on Brexit and Covid and everything else is that it's toxic for the country. My name's Mike Cashman. If you'd like to hear more from me, subscribe to the channel, buy the satirical books and music, invite me to speak at your meetings. So I made a video about a government that made mistakes in four areas, actually, A, B, C, D, austerity, Brexit, Covid and damage to democracy and questioned whether that government was the right people to dig us out. It's actually worse than that. I should have added this as a postscript. If the focus of the government is entirely on covering up those mistakes, then that gets in the way of the government actually doing any good. Look, a government can make mistakes if it learns from them and grows uh, and, you know, becomes better at government, then those mistakes can be a good thing. But if the focus is on covering up past mistakes, then that creates a dead weight that gets in the way of the government doing any good. Uh, the focus on Brexit is on trying to make out that the Brexit deal was not a mistake, um, except that uh, Frost and Johnson also managed to say that, uh, well, it wasn't entirely what they wanted. But anyway, they don't want to be held accountable for having done anything wrong on Brexit and are busy blaming the EC uh, in ways that are not going to be constructive in terms of negotiation. And a good example of the way that this factor works against the UK's interests is in the attitude to external trade deals with other countries. So in order to prove that Brexit was not a mistake, there is a focus on the maximum quantity of trade deals. That It's the numbers that count. How many trade deals have we signed? The actual quality of those trade deals is ignored. And so if we had a government that was actually focused on the interests of the UK, uh, then there would be attention to achieving beneficial trade deals. Uh, on COVID, we should absolutely be learning lessons. We need a full public inquiry. And if the government was serious about this, they, as I've said, they could have appointed a chair by now, defined terms of reference, decided on parallel streams, appointed other team members, worked out facilities, uh, started to look at written evidence. All that could be happening without any interference with the operational management of the pandemic, which is their excuse for not having started yet. All that could be being put in place, uh, even ready for a public inquiry to start in 2022. Uh, I do suspect that Boris Johnson wants to make sure that he is not giving oral evidence to a public inquiry before the next general election, because that could be very damaging. And we saw in the Owen Paterson affair, where an MP had committed repeated and egregious offences against the rules for what MPs are allowed to do regarding outside interests, that the Tory government's concern was not to do something about the problem, but rather to dismantle the system, the independent system by which these things are examined, uh, and to replace it with fixed committee with a fixed Conservative majority, um, which could therefore excuse uh, further misdemeanours that are investigated, such as the many committed by the Prime Minister. Now, each of these things, the government will attempt to put forward some form of defence on. Um, and, you know, there is always some defence uh, on Brexit. It's the EC's fault. On Covid, uh, we're too busy uh, preparing for the next wave, which we said wasn't going to happen, but we're concerned that it will be, uh, on democracy. Oh, we need to have an appeals process. Um, uh, each time there is an excuse. But the focus of the energy of the government is in covering up their mistakes. And that's the problem. Uh, not only have we got the impact of all those mistakes, we've also got a government that isn't doing anything useful because it's in power in order to excuse itself for the mess that it's made so far. And how's that going to go? The longer it's in power, the more mistakes it's going to make, the more of its energy is going to be devoted to trying to excuse them. And not for the benefit of the citizens of this country. That's my opinion. Please feel free to add yours in the comments on the video. Do subscribe to the channel. Britannia waves the rules. And that's the point, actually, isn't it? Britannia waves the rules. Thank you.